hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be discussing about newborn care so if you want to know keep on watching so the first thing you want to do if you are a new mom you have a new baby the first thing you want to do you have to take care of the umbilical cord so that is the one of the most important thing you have to be careful with it you understand so when, when you have a new ball they normally give you some disinfection from the hospital that you use to clean that area where you bath the baby or when it's time for you to clean the baby so for you to clean that area well and and the, the thing you have to do before you clean that area you have to make sure your hand is very clean put some some spirit or some sanitizer in your hand make sure your hand is very clean before you go ahead and touch the umbilical cord because any infection there it will cause so much problem to the baby so you have to make sure that your hand is very neat and clean so and you apply those things uh, cream and whatever they give you you apply it to it so there's another thing you can still do to make the healing go fast you can just put a warm water and put a clean wrapper in the warm water and you just tap it tap it tap it tap it tap it in that area that's it to make the place very heat and it will make the place heal very fast so those things are normally done in the Africa way. With the Africa, we normally do it like that. You just put a warm water and we just tap it around the umbilical cord. But so many people, they normally don't do it. So it's up to you. Like me, I do it for all my children, my sisters, my family. Everybody, they do it. I mean, it doesn't cause any harm to any baby. So you can just put a warm water and you just tap it around the baby area for the toilet to heal very fast so it's up to you if you want to do it but for me i find it very effective so you can just tap in that area and my second tip is for you to feed on demand it's not that they say the new baby they, they you want to feed your baby like two three hours no you you feed on demand if you see your baby you can just feed your baby now you see the baby still crying feed the baby you know it doesn't mean you have to look to the time Timing is doesn't matter, it's demand. You feed according to demand. If the baby, you see your baby that the baby is still crying, meaning he still wants to eat because the, the new body eats too much. So you, you, you can't wait that because you, you say you want to be feeding your baby three hours and the baby will be crying, then you'll be leaving, you leave the baby to cry. No, you have to feed your baby on demand. So on demand meaning he doesn't have time. There's no time for it. Any time the, the time comes for you to feed, you feed don't have to wait for time to feed your baby you understand so those are the things you have to do feed on demand another thing change your check your baby diaper make sure you change your baby diaper correctly don't wait for it to be filled like four five hours before you change it you have to change your di baby diaper at least one or two uh, two to three hour check and you change the baby diaper and another thing you have to do you have to make sure check your baby your baby temperature you understand you have to change the temperature from time to time to know your baby temperature of your baby so another thing you can do is overdressing we parents we normally overdress the baby because we take the baby because it's a new ball it's supposed to be overdressing but you don't know those overdresses sometimes it cause too much of heat and too much of rashes to the baby so don't overdress your baby you can just dress your baby according to the weather if the weather is hot you dress your baby a little bit things that is sleepy and sleeve things that is not that long then if it's winter time you dress your baby according to winter time but you can't dress your baby things of uh, things in winter during summer time so you have to look according to the weather to the temperature to according to it so you dress your baby according to the weather you understand so because those heat you know they can't talk if they are comfortable they can't talk so it's up to you to to know to study your baby to know what is wrong with your baby so overdressing too is one of the main issue that we moms we do with our children we overdress them we can be dressing our baby since of the summer time we put things like this so all those ones like we now dressing like this because now it's cold here where i am but I can't be dressing like this the summer time. So you have to dress your baby according to her the weather and according to her the, the the temperature is. So those are the things you do to be dressing your baby. Another of my tip, guys, is massaging. So mostly when you are bathing your baby, when you bath your baby in the evening, the night night time bath. After you finish bath, you can just put your baby in the bed and you just massage the baby. You put like olive oil, coconut oil 
or any vastly, whatever oil that you have, you just put it in the baby and you massage the baby gently, like that from head to toe, the back, everywhere, just massage the baby. Those things make the baby very, very comfortable and it make the baby to sleep a lot at night. So it's very necessary. Though so those things is not everybody that do it. Like I said, we Africa, we we, we love tradition. So we normally massage our newborn when before they sleep. Was when you just bath them, you just massage them, and you breastfeed them, or you give them whatever the formula, you see they will just sleep. Because when they are in the stomach, they will be running up and down, be running up and down, all the body, all the system are weak. So when they come out, they need more massage, just like me and you. When you massage, you see the way you feel very okay, you feel very good, very nice. The children are the same thing. So massaging is very good when you have a newborn. Just try and massage your newborn. It's very good too and when you feed your newborn after feeding your newborn you have to put your newborn here to bump your newborn not you after you just feed your newborn and you just put the baby on the bed or put anywhere if you want to put the baby to you have to put your baby on your shoulder for at least two to three minutes to bump the baby to make all the food that the baby eats to come down you bump the baby before you put the baby down wherever you want to put the baby down so those are the things you do so another thing that i find very interesting and what is like a mistake that people are making is when you maybe you have a baby ball you want to circumcise the baby you have to wait at least 10 days or 40 days before you do that at least several days for you to get to know your baby to know the, how he cry how he eats what is life at art, what is routine at. So those are the things you have to, to know, to know your baby more before you take your baby to go and circumcise your baby. Because by the time you go to circumcise your baby, when the baby comes very early, some people they circumcise the baby two to three days. By that time, the, the baby will be crying. So you will not know if the cry is the cry of the circumcise or the cry is the cry of newborn. So what you have to do, you have to make sure you know your baby well before you go to circumcise so you get to know the difference the difference is routine so it's not that your baby is crying or forcing because of the circumcise or is crying because he's crying new bubble uh, crying so you have to wait a bit like seven to ten days or 14 days for you to get to know your baby routine before you take your baby to circumcise it so it is the same thing to, to when you have a baby girl you can wait like at least several days before you go to pierce the ear so so that you get to know your baby because when you go to press the ear you she will be crying because of the pain the same heart the boy so they will be crying because of the pain of the circumcise or the piercing so like that you not know your your newborn routine so you have to get to know bond with your baby know your baby routine know what the baby is like how he sleep how many hours he sleep how many minutes how many hours he eat anything about newborn get to know those things before you take your baby to circumcise or you go to baby, take your baby to PSE. -E. So those are the things you get to know before you take your baby to those places. So it's very important. People really don't, don't find it important, but for me, I see it very important. You have to get to know the baby because when the baby come, I have to know, ah, my baby sleep three hours or my baby sleep two hours or my baby cry from time to time. So you get to know those things before you take baby. But by the time you take the baby very early, like after about two days, you take the baby, when the baby will be crying, you will think he's crying for the, the, the pain of the circumcise, circumcision. So you will not know why the baby crying. But by the time you take the baby go after one week you by the time that time you know your baby and everything is okay so if you cry you differentiate everything about the cry so those are the things i think you have to know before you take your baby for second size okay and another thing hold your baby when you want to hold your baby make sure you hold your baby very well when you hold your baby you have to put the neck and the hand on the back Make it well, not you put your baby, the neck is like this or like this, like this. So you have to make, you make your baby very okay. Put the head well, make sure it's balancing you. When you carry your baby, you know if uh, it's balanced. So those are the things you will do to make the baby feel only. Hold your baby very well, in a very comfortable way. Yes, those are my best tips for caring for your newborn. If you find this tip helpful, make sure you subscribe, like, and I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.